Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a small-ish Sephora haul, so let's just get started. Well, I purchased a bunch of things because I had some gift cards and then I was kind of stupid and I thought that during the VIB Rouge sale that it was only going to be for a VIB Rouge, so then I just purchased all this stuff. And then it was like two weeks later, like, okay, now VIBs, you can have 15% off. And I was like, well, I already bought all this stuff and I could have just waited and saved 15%. So this is not a VIB sale. This is just like out of my own pocket. So part of me want to go wah, wah. First of all, I'm going to talk about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is, I'm just gonna show you the packaging because it's in my makeup drawer because I use it every single day of my life. This is honestly a life-changing product for me as a fair skin person. And if you wanna know more about this product, I did a full review on it on my channel. I will link it down below, but this is like the best bronzer I've ever used in the history of life. And if you don't have it, you need to have it. It's $50, it's super expensive. I would never tell you to buy a $50 bronzer if I didn't think it was worth it, and it's worth it. Buy this bronzer. Go watch the video and you will find out why. <laughs> Next thing I got to go with the bronzer was the ambient lighting blush in the shade Luminous Flush because the bronzer is luminous so I thought Luminous Flush would go with it and I really like this blush. It's $35 which is a lot for a blush. It's very beautiful. It has the streaks of the luminous light going through and then sort of a magenta color. It looks like it's going to be really intense, but it's not. It's on this finger right here. It's super natural. It's the kind of blush that you can wear without putting any other makeup on. And can you kind of see it? See how it's so light? Because it's mixed with that powder. You can barely see it. Like you really would have to cake it on if you want it to look like blush blush. And that's the point. It's supposed to look natural. And it's beautiful. You're probably sensing my hesitation on this product only because I also bought the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fig Pop, which is one of the newly released shades. They, came, they originally had four shades and now they have like 10 or so or maybe more. And I was only a little bit disappointed because this is such a gorgeous pinky peach. And I think the packaging is just to die for. And it's $21. And you guys, I put this Fig Pop on one cheek and because I swatched them next to each other and they looked so similar that I was like, huh, wait a second. This has a slight sheen to it and so does the Luminous Flush. This is 21 bucks, that's $35. And I happened to just pick shades that were identical. I could not tell which was which on either side of my face. So what's probably gonna happen is I'm probably gonna return this Hourglass one and either get a different shade so that they're not like the same so I don't have two of the same thing because they literally look exactly the same because this has a built-in sheen in it so it performs similar to this one that has a built-in sheen in it as well oh my lighting is changing sorry so I'm probably gonna return this not to say that it's not a good product because it is it's just I don't need two of the same thing so I'm probably gonna either get a different shade in this or just flat out return it because it's 35 bucks and that's a, you can get a lot of stuff with that money especially when it's just $21 way cheaper. So if you're looking for a dupe for Luminous Flush, it's Fig Pop from Clinique, and this lasts, um, in my opinion, longer on the cheeks. So this is a fantastic product. I also got the Custom Cover Drops by Cover FX. I have a whole video on my channel already, which I will link down below reviewing this product. It's life-changing. Like, there's a lot of life-changing things I didn't have in this purchase, but it really is amazing product. It turns any skincare you have into your foundation. It's amazing. Go check out that video if you want to know more, but this is such a winner. And it's 44 bucks. It looks like it's really tiny. It kind of is, but a little goes a super long way and will last you a lifetime. Well, maybe not a lifetime. Let's not get crazy. I just started working at a new restaurant where I have to wash my hands like a fool every five seconds and my hands have been getting so so dry so I heard really good things about this soap and glory hand food hydrating hand cream it has shea butter macadamia oil and marshmallow in it. it smells amazing it helps my hands I just really like it it was on sale I think it still is online I think it was like four bucks when normally it's like seven or eight so I thought let's just throw that in there and slash I'm gonna put some on right now I just really like it it's thick it's creamy it helps my hands and it was four dollars which like 
is drugstore. It's even cheaper than some drugstore products. So why not? Soap and Glory is an amazing, 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 amazing skincare brand. So check them out. I am going to Costa Rica, Guatemala, Mexico, Puerto Rico, blah, 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 for work. And I don't have any SPF that I use that isn't just like in my makeup, which I know is so bad. Like that's just bad, bad Samantha. You should be wearing sunscreen every day of your life. And I just haven't been. And so I saw this is brand new from Tarte. It's the Tarte Guard Broad Spectrum SPF 30, recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation for daily use. And it also has other ingredients in it, like their maracuja oil and other things that are supposed to be really helpful. And it's free of parabens, mineral oil, blah, 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 all that bad stuff. And it has really, really good ingredients in it as well. I just thought if I'm gonna be using sunscreen, I want it to have other things in it that are good for my face. So it kind of feels like it's the maracuja oil, but with SPF. I got a small size just to try it out because just to see, it's really, it's really small. Like this is, this is a tiny little guy. But this is perfect for travel, and since I'm going away for like work, I just really wanted to protect myself because down there, it's very easy for me to get burned, and I just don't want anything that's gonna break me out, and I don't think that tart things will break me out because I've used the maracuja oil before. So this is a really cool thing if you're into skincare and you really like the tart maracuja oil. Try this out, this is a cool little guy. I tried it once before and I liked it, but I kinda wanted to save it for when I went away. <laughs> I also spent some money on some nail things. I've been really into painting my nails and taking care of my nails lately and it was just unfortunate that it coincided with me working at this restaurant job where I have to wash my hands every five seconds and carry things and they just get chipped really, really easily. Um, but when I'm not working and I'm wearing the following products, they work amazingly well. I first started with the Formula X for Sephora base coat, which everybody talks about. This is unlike any other base coat I've ever tried and that it's really sticky. It's tacky and it doesn't feel like it's going to lay down flat until you put your nail polish over it and then it just like sticks to it. It like helps adhere the polish to your nail and also protects your nail from the polish if that makes sense. And I really, really like it. And then I also got the Nails Ink Gel Effect Nail Polish in Mayfair Lane. I tried the Nails Ink Victoria Beckham polish and it was $25, which is like ridiculous, but it was the best nail polish I ever used. So I was like, let's try like the regular Nails Ink, but like the gel effect. I was like, that might be similar. And I think it was like 15 bucks. So I said, okay, that's a little bit more reasonable. These are so amazing because of the brush. I'm gonna try and like get all the product off so you can actually see the brush. But it's like a flat brush that I swear to you, you do one swipe and it covers your whole nail. It's really flat and then it splays really well on your nail. And the formula with the gel effect, it's just super shiny and it was really chip resistant and it lasted a long time on me. But the star of the show, both in packaging and performance, is the Nails Inc. London Caviar, Kensington Caviar Top Coat. It's supposed to dry in 45 seconds and a lot of things are supposed to be quick dry and then you, you like, they kind of feel a little dry and then you go and do something and then they're screwed. This is authentically hard as rocks, dry in 45 seconds. The cap alone weighs 100 pounds. It's this nice metal cap. The same brush that's with all the other Nails Inc. products and it dries in 45 seconds and it's the shiniest top coat I've ever used and it really protects my manicure for forever. So I'm really excited. I never really invest in nail care and I just really think there's no point if you're gonna save money if it's gonna be chipping the next day, right? So you're better off not spending money on a manicure but spending the money and being able to do it multiple times at home. So I think that these three are the trifecta. These are amazing little guys that all work together and they're all falling apart. Oh. I also have, it's in my bathroom so I'm just gonna show you the box is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I really liked the Sabuki version of this product, but for some reason this one is a little bit cheaper and also comes in a tiny size to try. So I was like, I'm gonna try this. It was, I think, 10 bucks for the small size, which is 1.7 fluid ounces, and nothing has ever been able to break up my makeup so quickly and so completely in such a short amount of time. I put one squeeze of this everything is melted off. Then I use my Cetaphil to like wash off the residue and it takes me like a minute to wash my face and completely remove all my makeup and wash my face. 
I used to sit in the bathroom and like take a makeup wipe and like uh, with my face and this is just like there's no going back like there's just no going back this is it I'm gonna buy the full size when I run out it's amazing it's the Bosha cool cleansing oil it's unreal you guys it's so amazing if you wear a lot of makeup too and you just like you hate taking off all this makeup this is the thing I also got and this is so stupid but I got one of these like hair ties that everybody talks about like the ribbon hair tie you know what I'm talking about. It's supposed to not leave a kink in your hair. They were on sale for a dollar, so I was like, I'm just gonna try this. I have a million hair ties, but I would love it if it didn't create a kink in my hair. That would be cool. So I tried it. It was a buck, who cares? I also got samples, like deluxe samples, of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primers. I got one in the smoothing and in the hydrating. I do really, really like these. Are they like the most amazing thing that ever happened that everybody's saying? I don't think so. I mean, they're really good. Are they game changers? No. If you have any of the other popular primers, the one by Smashbox, the Pore Minimizer, the Pore Professional, I mean, they're all kind of the same. And in terms of the hydrating one, it's fine. It's fine, they're nice. I'm glad I have them because if I run out of something else, I have these little samples, but don't rush out and buy them in my opinion. I don't, I think they're overly hyped. Sorry, I hate to say it. I do really like this Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This is really, really pretty. It's moisturizing and it has a nice illuminating effect that if you don't have a super high coverage foundation, will still peek through your foundation. But I think it's pointless if you're gonna use a super full coverage foundation because it will kind of cover up that luminosity. But it is really pretty and I really like it. Hey, I feel like I bought a lot more stuff than that, but I guess not. So that does it for this haul. If you guys have any requests for any other future videos, please let me know. I'm really sorry I've been posting a little bit less often lately. It's just because I just started this new job and I'm just really, really, really busy trying to get coverage for when I go away from my other job where I'm directing a show. And uh, so yeah. Uh, please let me know what you'd like. If you are interested in this makeup look, it's very, very similar to my Valentine's Day date night tutorial. So I will also have that link down below. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And I will see you next time on my channel. Bye guys. I love you. See you later.